With loads of different options on the market, sometimes it's really infuriating to know what products to buy when building a smart home. You have smart switches, light bulbs, hubs, home assistants, voice assistants, you name it. But today Tech Up is back with episode 2 for Budget Smart Home to show you how easy it is for you to automate your smart home with NFC tags. We'll be going through a step by step guide how to get you running up with NFC tags within the home app and using Apple's Siri shortcuts. This is going to be absolutely amazing and fully customizable for you and your home and I'll show you some of the ideas I have come up with myself. Now if you do like this video it would be absolutely amazing if you could give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and share this video with your friends. Let's get to it. Welcome back to another Tech Up video. My name is Josh and as you saw from our intro today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to set up an NFC tag and control your smart home with it. This NFC tag comes with some great opportunities for your smart home and some really cool customization ideas for your iPhone. Using the built-in NFC reader from any iPhone from the iPhone 7 onwards, you'll be able to read and write this NFC tag to customize and control your home, your iPhone settings, scene, automations, all sorts of different options within the Siri Shortcuts app. So let's get started. And first of all, you want to make sure you've got the Siri Shortcuts app. You can get this from the App Store or it does come pre-installed with a brand new iPhone. You want to head into add new automation and scroll down where you see the NFC icon. Now it says scan NFC tag. This is where you're going to place your iPhone above the NFC tag where it will read it and ask you to give that tag a name. Once I've gave my NFC tag a name, I can go to the next screen, which is where I will start to be able to customize what I can do when the NFC tag is tapped. By clicking add action, I will get a pop-up menu which has categories and apps. For this demo, I'm going to go to the app section and click on the home app where I can get the control of my home kit accessories. As you can see here, I've got all of my scenes, lights, plugs, anything that's in the home app you'll be able to find here. I'm choosing my breakfast bar and I'm going to have it so when the NFC tag is tapped, the breakfast bar light will turn off. I'm going to demo it right here and I've got one pre-saved from earlier which will then turn the breakfast bar back on. And as you can see, I've hit it underneath some decorative mats meaning I can actually tap my phone on something which looks like a normal object and get the same result and customization. Meaning you'll be able to place these NFC tags almost anywhere, even in hidden plain sight, and you'll be able to control your smart home, which is absolutely amazing and a really cool idea when using NFC tags. As you can see here, I've hidden an NFC tag behind the speaker mesh, and when I tap it, it automatically goes to airplay, starts playing a song, and sets the volume in my bathroom, so when I'm having a shower, I can listen to my tunes just by tapping my phone onto the speaker. This is amazing and brings a similar functionality from the HomePods to any other third-party airplay speaker itself. So let's dive in a little bit deeper into the Shortcuts app so you understand how you can set this up and what it's going to look like. I pre-scanned my NFC tag and added all my automations. You want to put them in the order you want them to happen in. So as you can see at the top, I've got vibrate device. I've got my home. So this means both of my bathroom lights are going to turn on. I'm going to set my phone volume to 5%, connect it to an airplay speaker in my bathroom. As you can see, you can pick from any airplay speaker that's compatible. You can then use the Apple Music to play any playlist, song or whatever you want to play through the Apple Music app. And then I've got speak to text to tell me to enjoy myself when I'm in the bathroom. This is my bathroom routine for when I'm having a bath. And as you can see, if I swipe down from the control center, my iPhone is actually airplaying to the bathroom speaker and I can control my music there automatically. This is really easy to use and I love this because it just gives me that full customization depending on room I'm in, what automations I want to play out. All these features are absolutely amazing and it's so customizable. As you can see here, I've gone back in and I've edited it. So when it picks up the NFC tag, my phone would vibrate 
and after a few seconds, I would get a little notification telling me to set a timer. This is really good for if you're cooking or you're in the kitchen and you want to put your phone somewhere and remind yourself to set a timer while you're a little bit busy. So you could just tap your phone onto a wall panel or anything in the kitchen where you've placed the NFC tag and already have your timer set up. This is how really simple it is to use the series shortcuts and there's so much more to expand on it that I'll be talking about in the future. I just thought this would be a really great opportunity for people to get into HomeKit using some cheap alternatives other than smart switches which can be very costly when doing your entire home. One big thing I do have to mention with NFC tags and shortcuts is the fact that it is a personal request on one device. This means you won't be able to share the NFC tag and the automation you've set up with someone else. So if someone else scans the NFC tag, their iPhone will do nothing because they haven't got that automation set up on their device. This is really good though because it does mean you can use one NFC tag for more than one result. Say you have an NFC tag in the kitchen or in the bathroom and you want to set it up to be an automation for yourself, your iPhone will recognize that NFC tag and run your automation. If someone else then wants to do their own automation using the same NFC tag, they can do. One NFC tag will create two different possibilities, or even more depending on how many people you have in a household, or how many people have set it up in their own Siri Shortcuts app. Now, if you're wondering where can you get some NFC tags, you can get them from almost anywhere. I got mine from Amazon for a pack of 20 for under £2, which I thought was absolutely great, and I'll leave the link below. But you can get all sorts of different versions of NFC tags, such as sticker versions, credit card versions, all sorts of different designs where you can place them anywhere your heart's content. That is it for this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. If you did like the video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and share this video with all your friends, and it does really help support the channel and to help tech up grow. I'll leave all of our links for our social media down below in the description. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week for a brand new video.